marking a second major breakthrough in the development of an effective vaccine against COVID-19. U.S. biotech firm Moderna on Monday announced that its experimental vaccine against coronavirus had been found to be 94.5% effective. Moderna released early results from a clinical trial that involved 30,000 participants in the U.S. The results came on the heels of similar results from U.S. drug maker Pfizer and its German partner BioNTech. Pfizer said on number 9th that its experimental vaccine against coronavirus developed in collaboration with German biotech firm BioNTech had been found to be more than 90% effective in its ongoing phase 3 trials. Both vaccine front runners have developed an RNA vaccine. It means part of the coronavirus's genetic code is injected into the body in order to trigger an immune response. This positive interim analysis from our phase 3 study has given us the first clinical validation that our vaccine can prevent COVID-19 disease, including severe disease, said CEO of Moderna, Stefan Bansu. The company plans to submit applications for an emergency use authorization with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration in the coming days and says it expects to have approximately 20 million doses ready to ship in the U.S. by the end of the year. Global infections from COVID-19 have soared past 54 million and has curled more than 1.3 million since its outbreak in China late last year. Moderna's vaccine created with the U.S. National Institutes of Health is given in two doses, 28 days apart. And the preliminary results are based on 95 volunteers of the 30,000 who fell ill with COVID-19. Of the 95, 90 had been in the trial's placebo group and five in the group that received the drug called mRNA-1273. There were 11 cases of severe COVID in the trial, all of whom were in the placebo group. No significant safety concerns have been reported and the vaccine was well tolerated with the majority of side effects classed as mild or moderate. After the first dose, about 3% of people had injection side pain classed as severe. Among side effects classed as severe, after the second dose, about 10% had fatigue, 9% had muscle pain, 5% had joint pain or headaches, 4% had other pain and 2% had redness at the injection site. These adverse events were short-lived according to a statement. This news from Moderna is tremendously exciting and considerably boosts optimism that we will have a choice of good vaccines in the next few months said Peter Openshaw, a professor of experimental medicine at Imperial College, London. Crucially, Moderna also announced that its vaccine can remain stable at standard refrigerated temperatures of 2 degrees Celsius to 8 degrees Celsius for 30 days. Pfizer's vaccine, on the other hand, needs to be stored in deep freezer conditions which could complicate supply chain logistics, particularly in less developed countries. It is not yet clear how long-lasting the protection will be from either the Moderna of Pfizer vaccines, nor how well they work for the elderly, the age group at highest risk from COVID-19. Pfizer and Moderna have used a highly innovative and experimental approach to design their vaccines, and the recent developments have added to the growing confidence that vaccines can aid to end the pandemic. News Desk, Kaumati English.